Hey guys, I'm the math professor Kyle Martin. In this video, we're gonna take this equation, y minus three equals one half times the quantity x minus four, which is currently in point slope form and change it to be in standard form. And we're gonna do that using our standard form checklist. Okay, if you remember our checklist for standard form, we cannot have fractions. Our x and y term have to be on the same side. And the only thing on that side of the equation, and lastly, our x term has to be positive. Let's try it. In this one, um, I'm probably first going to get rid of my fraction, that's my first step in my checklist, by multiplying by the denominator, okay? Multiplying by two here. When I do that, let's see what I get. I get two y minus six equals, and then the reason I chose two is because the two for multiplying and dividing by two is gonna cancel, leaving me with just the numerator of one um, times x minus four. Okay, one times anything, of course, is that thing. So this is just two y minus six equals the inside x minus four. And since I got rid of my fractions, I can now check off my first box and say there are no fractions. The second thing is I need the x and y on the same side of the equal sign, and those are, have to be the only thing on that side of the equal sign. So let's maybe move things over to the left side, my x and y over here, which means I need to subtract x on both sides. And the six doesn't have an extra y, so I'm gonna move that over by adding six to both sides. Okay, when I do that, I like to write my x term first, so it's gonna be negative x, positive two y, or plus two y. The six is canceled, the x is canceled, so I can now say equals negative four plus six is two. All right, and now x and y are the only things on the left side of the equal sign, which means now it's all that's left is to get my x term positive. Uh, currently, the x term is negative, so whenever something is negative and you need it to be positive without changing anything else, uh, what you can do is multiply the entire equation by negative one. Okay, when I distribute this negative one through, what it really is gonna do is just change all my signs. So now negative, and you can think of it as negative one times negative x and get positive x, negative one times two y and get negative two y, or just think it was negative, now it's positive, it was positive, now it's negative, this one's positive, so it's gonna be negative. All right, and I'm just gonna circle my answer here because x minus two y equals negative two. Everything is satisfied on our checklist, so that is in standard form.